Hello and welcome to the Royal Television Society Student Television Awards 2020, sponsored by Motion Content Group. As we all know, we can't all be together today, so here is a message from the Chair of the Royal Television Society Student Awards, Siobhan Green. Hello everyone. I know that this wasn't how any of us would have imagined the ceremony and celebration taking place. But take it from me, it doesn't diminish your achievement getting to this moment. You've done brilliantly. This pandemic has caused such huge shifts in the way we think, live and work. And what I know for sure is that your talent, shining brightly and unafraid, is more important than ever. It's in these moments when life feels like it's shifting and the future feels uncertain that uplifting joy and creativity has never been more needed. The work about to be recognised today does all that. We absolutely loved watching your entries and so know that no matter what comes, this pivotal moment in our history can be a lightning rod for you, your talent and your stories. We need to hear them. So congratulations to everyone. You are the best of the best and I am so proud of you all. Have an amazing day. Thank you, Siobhan. The judges on each panel were asked for up to three nominations, then a national winner. We start with the undergraduate categories, and the first up are the nominations for undergraduate drama. Here are the three nominations. I didn't think it mattered yet. I need threat for the sale. Tell them no. It's not my decision. Who brought this up? He brought you flowers at midsummer. His name is Jack. Do you remember? Do you remember? Yes. He's going to be a fisherman. He could take you out on his boat. I've been working on my own boat for months. No, it's your brother's boat, too, you know. Reese will finish it. I don't want him to finish it. I'm not going alone. I'm fine with Jeannie. Hey, you. Oh, hey, you. Taxi's here. She's my best friend. Mom always said we were as thick as thieves. <laughs> we never went anywhere without each other. God, Carrie, you're ripe. Yeah, sorry. Do you have any deodorant with you? No. You can't bring it on the plane. <sighs> This film had a wonderful playfulness, strong performances with a compelling non-linear narrative that really stood out. The winner of the undergraduate drama category is Starry Night by Emma Smith, Carolyn Handley, Rachel Maloney, Laurie Stacey, Anna Heisterkamp and the rest of the team. And now let's hear from the winners. Hi, I'm Emma, the director of Starry Night. Hi, I'm Kaylin, the producer. I'm Rachel, the screenwriter. Hi, I'm Laurie, the editor. I'm Anna, the DOP. And I'm Hazel. I play Cara in the film. We'd like to thank everyone at RTS for giving us this award. We'd also like to thank all of the cast and crew who helped make this film, all of our friends and family, and everyone at O'Reilly House who um, let us film there. Also, everyone at IUDT who helped us along the way. Thanks a million, guys. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> 
Right, let's go on to the undergraduate factual category. Here are the three nominations. I am excited. <laughs> this is going to be good. He said it would originally take him 18 months. And three and a bit years later, he returned. Edward, happy birthday to me. This is either really cool or a little bit sad. It went from 18 months to three and a half years because he wasn't like, I am going to go from A to B as quickly as I can. People have done that. Mark Beaumont did it in 80 days around the world, but you don't see any of it. So this is why it's taking him so long to get around the world. And, and it's not for anybody else apart from him. It's, it's, you know, he's not doing it because I want to get a Guinness Book of Record, I want to be the only... He's, he's seriously not, he just... Likes uh, unicycling yeah, and, and wanted to see the world, and that's all it boils down to, isn't it? Why I chose to do it on the unicycle... My name is Josephine Cressy. I'm 23 years old, and I haven't seen my mum in eight years. I know she's had issues growing up. She was adopted into a rich family, and I don't think she ever really connected with her adoptive mum. She had a brother who passed away quite young, yeah. and the dad was always working, so she was trapped in this big house. So obviously when she's left, she wants freedom, wants to be a wild child. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? I've got some pretty big news. Go on. Guess where I am right now? I don't know. I'm in Spain. Seriously? Yeah, I'm going to go see my mum. I was crying throughout the journey until we reached down here in Plymouth, where I had to leave. I knocked at the door and a lady came out. I said, I've come down from London to stay. And she just banged the door and went away. I realized that sometimes some people get depressed in this system of asylum and she had received a reply from the Home Office and they refused her case. So it was like hell for her, <laughs> so those things happen. The jury found this film very moving and honest. It was brave and the filmmaker had cleverly woven the storyline throughout. They gave this such a huge compliment, they said it could be transmittable. The winner of the undergraduate factual category is Building Bridges by Josephine Creasy, Gilmero Quintia Pinto, Maximilian Wilson, Pierre Neonguira, and Luke Denton. Now, here are the winners. Hey, everyone. Um, wow, what an honour to win this award. I'm absolutely shocked and so pleasantly surprised because Building Bridges was such a challenging film to create and I couldn't have done it without my team and my amazing tutors. So I just want to thank all of you and a big shout out to the RTS for hosting this award. Hi. Is this on? Amazing. Wow, we won. Um, so I'd like to thank the Royal Television Award for selecting our film for the best documentary. Um, it really means a lot. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Thank you so much for this award. Thank you for choosing Building Bridges. What a great award to win. Thank you so much for the award, and I hope you're all staying safe at home. OK, our next category is undergraduate comedy and entertainment. If you win this and you want to employ me, please do. Let's take a look at the nominees. Killing tracks ever since a little kid. They didn't believe I could do it, but look at big. And even though I always doubted, man, when I was younger, I overpowered the inner coward with all this hunger. Whoa. But the kid never changed. I just came in the game with the brand new flame. I don't care about these lames, all the shit that they spray. I guarantee you heard this song, you're gonna remember the name. It's like Big is a name. Killing all the games, yeah, killing all the. All your brothers sound the same, yeah.
The jury unanimously loved this creative, funny, standout work. Brilliantly shot with impeccable detail throughout and a first-class edit. It had them laughing out loud and they were very impressed. The song is a hit and... Biggie is a star. The winner is Biggie by Henry Oliver, Jordi Estape Morasant, and Liam Morgan. And now let's hear from them. Hello everybody, Henry Oliver here. Thank you so much for the award. It means a lot to me. Um, thank you to RTS and thank you to all the other directors out there that have made such amazing films. Um, I've enjoyed every single one of them. Um, I have to send a big thank you to Ravensbourne for all the help that they gave. Um, and then also my crew. My crew were amazing throughout the entire project, helped me out so much. Um, especially Liam, my DP, and Jordi, my producer, fantastic people, and uh, continue to work with them for as long as I can. Um, but yeah, thank you very much. And yeah, it's a shame we can't be there to celebrate all these amazing films. But yeah, thank you so much. And time to celebrate. That'll do. The next award is for Undergraduate News. Let's see the three nominations. But I think people who are uh, eating licorice regularly are not aware of the risks and the warning label in the pack, as, as you've so clearly shown, is totally inadequate. It just says that people with high blood pressure should be careful about taking it. It's everyone should be careful. My most recent um, was 126 over 80 and I've cut out all the tablets as well as the licorice tea now, so, you know, it's actually normal. And not drinking any licorice tea, there is clearly um, uh, a normal blood pressure uh, that this lady's achieved again. Now, obviously that's not scientific, but that's really suggestive that something was happening there with the licorice tea. What's even more worrying is this third tea from Morrison's has the exact same amount of licorice in as the tea from Asda, and it has absolutely zero warning on. So since my email to them, they've promised me that they're going to take this product off their shelves nationwide until they comply with EU regulations. I got my first tattoo stupidly at 17 years old. I waltzed into a studio that I knew my friends got tattooed at and uh, I sat down there waiting. The guy says, how old are you? And you know, you put the deep voice on, oh, I'm 18. And uh, in you go, you sit down and you, you take your choice. Yeah. It was a blue rose straight off of Google Images. I guess it's not the worst tattoo that I've got. I've done a lot more stupid things since then, but uh, definitely not one of my proudest moments. <laughs> New homes are springing up all the time, but it's not fast enough. So with house prices on the rise, people are making their beds in unorthodox places such as tiny homes, container homes and even vans. Hello and welcome to my van and house. But is this really a genuine alternative to mainstream housing? Hi Chris, Hi, yeah. nice to meet you. Hi, yeah. right. Come on in for a look Thank around. You. I've driven to Northumberland to visit one of the many tiny homes that Chris March has built and to find out whether this style of living is worth a go. There's something quite, you know, quite romantic about it, I think, as well. People, you know, tend to fall in love with them as well. A convincing investigation with consumer journalism at its beating heart, which was cleverly storyboarded and creatively filmed and edited. Great on-screen presentation encouraged the viewer to pay full attention to what's inside that next cup of herbal tea. The winner of the undergraduate news category is It Takes All Sorts by Katya Fowler. Let's hear from Katya now. Firstly, I'd like to thank Ian, Kate, Peter and Stephen Coleman from the University of Leeds for giving me the skills I've needed to be here today. I'd also like to thank Andy and everyone at KMTV for taking a chance on a newbie journalist and allowing me to do this sort of news every day for the people of Kent. This wouldn't have been possible without Nikki allowing me to tell her story and also Janine for trusting a complete stranger to give up something she loved, all to prove a theory. And finally, I'd like to thank the RTS for such a prestigious award and allowing me to share the dangers of licorice tea to a wider audience. And remember, if you do suffer from hypertension, don't drink it. And even if you don't, drink it with caution and regularly monitor your blood pressure. 
or else you really will be taking dying for a cuppa to a whole new level. Cheers. The next award is for undergraduate short form. Let's see the clips. Do you know how long we've been waiting for? It feels like we've been waiting ages. I don't know, I'll go check. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hello? This film looked great with some beautiful shots. It was pacey and well put together by an interesting filmmaker. This film felt visceral and inventive and was very accomplished. The winner of the undergraduate short form category is Night Hopper by Lauren Burnham. Let's hear from Lauren. Thank you so much to the Royal Television Society for this award. I'm absolutely over the moon that Night Hopper has come this far. And a huge thank you to all of my cast and crew who have made this possible. Without your talent, passion and genuine care for this film, this wouldn't be possible. So thank you to everybody. OK, so the next award is for undergraduate animation. Let's see the three nominations.
The jury were blown away by the strong acting and performance. The film's animation very much reflects these performances. As with the best ever animations, there's an amazing attention to detail. Aardman-esque with lots of in-jokes and a strong, rich touch delivered the criteria of the competition with impressive results. The winner of the undergraduate animation category is Margin of Terror by Kieran McLister. Let's hear from Kieran now. Uh, hello Marty Ace, uh, thanks very much for the award, um, I just want to thank the staff at ECA who were all great, especially Mike, I uh, want to thank all the other students on the animation course um, who were all lovely, uh, friends and family, and Mike Muir's my composer especially because he did a fantastic job, and thanks very much for the award, cheers. Now we come to the Craft Skills Awards for the undergraduate categories, and the first award is for sound. The judges came up with a shortlist of three films for each of the craft skills, and from this shortlist, voted on the winning film. The three shortlisted films for sound are Building Bridges, Control Alt Z, and Margin of Terror. Great, vibrant and rich use of colour. Entertaining and enjoyable. Looked amazing. Very clever techniques in this film are some of the comments we got. The winner is Control Alt Z. Thank you ever so much, Royal Television Society, for this amazing award. Um, I want to thank Holly Keating and her team for being amazing people to collaborate with and liaise with and for just being brilliant creators. Um, as a sound designer and composer, I feel that it's so imperative to be creating more art and film and music in these quite awful and tumultuous times as people definitely need it so keep creating and thank you very much for this award again okay next up is uh, one of my best friends editing the three shortlisted films are woman uprooted biggie and the curiosity of edward pratt Good sound design in the film, great edit, well-told piece, strong storytelling are some of the things the judges said about the winner, which is Grace Molesley for Woman Uprooted. Congratulations, let's hear from Grace. Thank you to the staff and volunteers at Start Charity Plymouth and Joe Pickering from Odile's Plymouth who inspired us with all the amazing work they do to support refugees in the Southwest. Next is production design. The three shortlisted films are Margin of Terror, A Dead Canary, Flipped. The jury said this was a funny film and they loved the setting. Great production design and art department as well, with good colours and lighting and a great detail in the set, along with a soundtrack that helped to tell the story. The winners are Ina Morkin and Jack Allen for Flit. Let's hear from them now. Hello. Um, well, I've got a lot to say. So, um, oh, let's do another. Right, well, um, well, I'll start here. So thanks uh, very much. Oh, there's another, oh, another graph. Okay. Well, um, well, thanks very much. To... Well, thanks for. Oh, forget it. So our next award is for writing. The three shortlisted films are Building Bridges, Starry Night, and Biggie. The jury said that the script was thought out and that it allowed you to feel the story and not get lost in the use of time. The winner is Rachel Maloney for Starry Night. Let's hear from Rachel now. Thank you for this, it means a lot. Uh, thank you to everybody at IDT, Paul, Jean, Barry especially. Uh, thank you to the whole cast and crew of Starry Night. Emma, Kaylin, Laurie, Saoirse, Anna, Hazel, Kira, Dara, Ronan. You guys made the film the special film that it is and I hope it means as much to all of you as it does to me. 
Thank you. Now we come to the last of the Undergraduate Craft Skills Awards, camera work. The three shortlisted films are Looking For, Biggie, and Starry Night. Fingers crossed you win this and you can spend your afternoon in a conference room with me filming stuff in the future. The jury said that this film had nice lighting, good camera work, a good story, and it flowed well. The winner is Anna Heisterkamp for Starry Night. Thank you so much to the RTS for the nomination and recognising the visual style of the film. Wouldn't have been possible without the amazing work done by Saoirse, our production designer, and everything she did to bring the film to life. And yeah, it was amazing to work with so many female HODs. And big shout out to Anson from Stores in IDG who always respected me. Congratulations to all of our undergraduate winners. Now to the first of the postgraduate awards, postgraduate drama. Here are the three nominations. <laughs> Nothing's going to change what happened. Whose side are you on, Caroline? Huh? I'm not on any side. What use are you? You want to get your sign ready for tomorrow and protest? You really need to stop wearing your heart on your sleeve. You're too nice. Makes me want to vomit sometimes. No wonder people walk all over you. I mean, look at you. You're not a child no more. You're a fully grown fucking woman. Pull yourself together. You ain't gone through shit. Nothing. Nothing like I have. I've been through it all. You guys want to see something? What is that? This is an alien interceptor. We're shooting greys out the sky. Come on, see. Get a load of this. This film is wonderfully original and offbeat, unanimously praised for its unexpectedly moving and poignant story told with real visual boldness and wit. The balance of surrealist animation, a deceptively emotional script, endearing characters and quietly truthful performances made this a real standout for the panel. The winning drama is UFO by Harvey Gardner, Reese Steele and Luca Michelli. Let's hear from them now. Oh, thank you so much, DRTS, for this award. Absolutely amazing. Uh, to be nominated in the first place to win is just an absolute dream come true. Uh, thank you to the cast and crew, to Blazing Griffin. We'd also like to thank our lecturers and staff at the University of West of Scotland for their guidance and support. Nick Higgins, Paul Welsh, Sam Firth and Paul Tucker. We're also thankful for our Indiegogo backers whose generosity made this film possible. Thank you. Thanks to our family and friends for the great support, and especially we would like to thank uh, Leslie, Paul, Liz, Andrew, Alessandra, and Emanuele. And to round everything up, here's a little message from our lovely, lovely cast and crew. Thank, thank you. you. Cheers. Next is the award for Postgraduate Factual, and let's see the three nominees. <laughs> Uh, I 
，因为我回家我奶奶就说什么，要么就让我改家务活，不让我进去干一样东西。我在屋呀，我成天有时候都是我刷锅刷碗。grandchildren and their descendants for their well-being their security and that is never going to leave me and I'm sure it's not going to leave you hang on I'm getting there brothers sisters <laughs> <laughs> you, you slow down when you get a bit older <laughs> they have the power but we have something much more important we have the authority and it's the authority that's based on love and truth. Kranj cilja ko Bog da jedan put je prohodit bez štaka. Iskreno ti kažem, nije to moja želja zbog toga što se ja želim reći ni maliteta zbog sebe. Nego baš zato zbog drugih. Ja sam svojim boli ne prihvatio, ja mogu, sa ovim štakama funkcionirati super, meni one zaista od duši ne smetaju, ali mi umara me što drugima smetaju i što drugi ne pitaju uopće kako ja živim, nego samo dobiju jednu sliku mene na štakama i ja da nomu. To je tako, isto ko što ne znam, čovjek koji nosi nače, ali on nosi nače, ali to je to. On mora ih nositi isto kao što ja moram nositi sebe. The judges were unanimous in praising this film as perfectly told, plotting an emotional story tightly and subtly with a lyrical power worthy of a feature film. This was a story with resonance at all levels, whether about family, society, class or gender. It left you caring deeply for the young girl at its heart. The winner of the postgraduate factual category is Separation by Y Han. Let's hear from why. I'm truly honored to be recognized by the RTS. I feel lucky, proud, and excited that my film is included alongside many other brilliantly made documentaries. Making separation was an extraordinary experience for me. I hope this film can attract more attention to rural China's gender inequality. And I want to thank all of the people who helped me make this film everyone at Open City Docs, and all those who shared their stories with me. I also want to give my very special thanks to my senior tutor, Lucy, who gave me a lot of suggestions when I was confused. Thank you all so much. Next, the award for Postgraduate Comedy and Entertainment. Very bookable, very affordable, by the way. And here are the two nominees. Do you know what? We can spare another 15 minutes for you to, um, to get ready. My hair's yes. done. Right? Yep. Um, your hair, yes. On your head. But... What about... Um... Your legs? What about them? Do you... Need to? Are you... Are you supposed to... This is my natural look. It's how I'd like to appear in the film. Okay, so, so this was discussed with, with Clarence and the, the producers, right? And all those patriarchs. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Honestly, fuck them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fuck the patriarch, exactly, fuck them. right? Yeah, <laughs> fuck them all. So, uh, what's her name? Lucy. Uh, do you have any others? No. It's just me and her. Do you have any? No, no, unfortunately not. Uh, 
my landlady won't let me. I'm surprised she's so comfortable with you. Usually, she's a bit reserved with strangers. Must be the effect I have on ladies, I guess. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm going to have to get going. Next appointment. It was really nice to meet you. Yes. It was. The jury's attention was grabbed by the very unusual concept and full of admiration for the work that wasn't afraid to be bold. The winner is Lucy by Megan Zhu, Gwenelle Koonson, Leah Monguzi, Zi Yu Kuei, Elliot Barker and Ro Jing Yang. Let's hear from the winners. We would like to thank RTS for shortlisting us and awarding us. This film has been such a ride for us. One of the biggest challenges was for sure the cat. Even though you would never think that about a cat, or you would if you're more of a dog person like me. We would especially like to thank Ghostmista for the support and the belief in the project. Special shout outs in particular to Tracy Bass, Sue Austin and Nigel Bristow. We know we give you a couple of grey hairs working on this project and we are so thankful for your patience, your support and your kindness as we navigate it through. A massive thank you to our entire crew for living up to the challenge, to our friends and families for lifting us up and encouraging us throughout, and of course to our backers for their generosity. It's a surreal thrill to be the recipient of this award and we're deeply touched. Thank you. Congratulations! The next award this afternoon is for postgraduate news. Let's have a look at the three nominations. My brother Deniz, the teenager student who always wanted to study the law, didn't get to experience the university life, so Europe was the destination. The only way to Europe is by what Syrians call the death boards. Now, all of us are refugees. My sisters in Turkey, one brother in Germany, one brother in England, and two of us here in Wales. And my parents are lost between Germany, Turkey, England, and Wales. So, on the lookout for the treasure, I joined them for a bee walk, where volunteers walk a fixed route of just over a mile and record all the bumblebees they spot. They gently catch, identify and release. Tracking the species in numbers means the Trust can monitor if the UK's bumblebees are doing well or not, and Bee Walk is the only scheme that does it. We get a picture across the country of where the populations are dropping, and perhaps hopefully we could intervene with some action of habitat increase. For Bilberry bumblebees, this is one of their last British strongholds. So to boost numbers, pollinating the peak have planted thousands of bilberry plants across 60 acres of these moors, all inside metal cages. On my bee walk, I came across one with project assistant Annie Ives. You can see these are quite small at the moment. We planted them in March of this year. I love this job. Even I work it, when I work a different job, different, uh, different job, I still love this one. This is my, my first job, I come here to do, you know. We love beauty, you know. All we would, I like to make people look beauty. When asked about the result of the trial, she doesn't think it reflects the truth about her work. It's not true with the story, it's not true. People make it up, a lot of people make it up story to say yeah, over yeah, here. Yeah. Yeah. So sometimes they make it, like, they paint the wrong picture about it. So we, I been stay here for how long? 15 years and work with so many different jobs. They all, you know, people right? You know, human rights. You know, we don't know. Uh, don't listen, you know? Yeah. Okay. So, you know, this one person, you can't be a picture of a whole, you know, all of us, all, you know, community people over here. A powerful story packed with suspense and drama that took viewers on a very touching personal journey. The poignant tale of one family's flight from the war in Syria to the supposed sanctuary of Europe chronicled. The winning film is Host or Hostile by Issa Fafour. Let's hear from Issa. I came to the UK as a refugee of war. 
with no English or any clue where to start and how to start leaving behind 24 years of life. But I believe that what makes you comfortable can ruin you and what makes you uncomfortable is the only way to grow. I felt uncomfortable for years escaping the war in Syria with no family, friends, money or even a roof over my head. But I had my heart and my dreams because they are mine. I own them and no one can take them away from me. I dedicate this prize to the people of Wales who gave me and my family a home and a new start to grow bigger. Thank you very much. Okay, the next award is for postgraduate short form. Let's take a look at the nominations. My stomach's grumbling. Chocolate. Too much sugar. Granola. Got high blood sugar, boss. Mm. Mm. What do you want? I have a savoury slice. It's got no sugar or sugary binding agent. Mm. <sighs> Cheers, mate. All right. Back to work. Wait, what? Stop! No! When flying aerobatics, timing is everything. I've always wanted to fly. What has driven me is the constant striving for perfection, that ultimate precision to score that perfect flight. I'm Emily Collett. Last year, I joined the Bremont Great War Display Team. I'm really proud to be the first woman to do this. Here's the patient's face. Hello. Feeling better now. Mm -hmm. What happened to you? Oh, there you go. The jury thought this film had a great story at its heart and a nice range in setups. It looked great and all in all was very well executed. The winner of the postgraduate short form category is Rough Hands by Fabio Mota, Lily Grimes, Francesco Sibatti, Beatrice Honorio and Malika Rutzmetova and the rest of the team. Let's hear from the winners. Hi, my name is Fabio Mota. I'm the director of Rough Hands. Uh, thank you very much for this award. It's uh, an incredible pleasure to have a Royal Television Society student award and I'd like to dedicate it to my crew who stood by in production and post-production. It was a very difficult feat but we've achieved it and we should all be very proud. Thank you very much. The final category is postgraduate animation. Let's take a look at the three nominations.
Very accomplished and hugely enjoyable. The touch of surrealism took us on a great journey with a clever use of cycles which drew us in and then surprised us. Very well paced and as a result it's a film that doesn't outstay its welcome with beautiful observations. We knew what they were saying even though there were no words. Very playful and colourful with brilliant production design, the ambitious crowd shot view blew us all away. A superbly funny trip to the beach which left us with sand between our toes. The winner is Heatwave by Fokion Zenos, Piria K. Dosanji, Brendan Friedman, Stella Heath Keir, Kevin Langhamer, and the rest of the team. Let's hear from the winners. Greetings to everyone at Royal Television Society. I am Fokion Xenos, the director of Heatwave, and on behalf of the whole team, thank you so much for this award. It means a lot to us. We wanted to create a film that would be bright, colorful, and most of all, fun to watch. So we're really glad you had fun with it. Um, the film wouldn't be what it is, of course, without the stellar team uh, that worked on it at the National Film and Television School. And thank you, thank you so much for this award. Now we've come to the Postgraduate Craft Skill Awards. The first award is for sound, and the three shortlisted films are Heatwave, Almost There, and November the 1st. The jury said this film was energetic with excellent comic timing. The winner is Kevin Langhamer for Heatwave. Let's hear from Kevin now. Thank you so much for this award. I want to thank the NFTS, my family and the full team of Heatwave. It's been so rewarding to have been able to make people laugh with this film. But if there's one thing that I learned from it was the impact that can have a community once we all see beyond our individual problems. It can really bring a massive wave of joy. So, thank you. Next up is editing. The three shortlisted films are Heatwave, November the 1st, and Separation. The jury called this exceptional filmmaking. The way the narrative unfolds is captivating and thought-provoking. The winner is Wei Han for Separation. Thank you so much for this honor. I'm terribly humbled to receive this award. And I would like to thank all of the people who helped me make this film. Thank you all so much. Next up is production design. The three shortlisted films are November the 1st, Heatwave, and Azar. The jury loved the strong use of colour, the red elements in the costume, curtains, doors, blood, which brought this all together so cleverly. All of this complemented the locations and brought everything together. The winner is Lauren Taylor for Azar. Let's hear from Lauren. Hi, thank you so much for this award. It's super exciting for me. Um, couldn't have done it without the team that I had, um, really small art department team, so uh, extremely grateful to them for helping me out. Um, and obviously the, the most brilliant crew to work with of all time. Um, thank you so much, it's an honour. Next we have writing. The three shortlisted films are Separation, November the 1st and Azar. They said this film had great dialogue, powerful subject matter, dealt with expertly. So powerful and dramatic and brilliantly written. The winner is Charlie Manton for November the 1st. Let's hear from Charlie. Thank you so much for this award. This, this really means so much to me, especially since I find writing so arduous and tough at times. So this definitely restores faith. Um, I'd like to thank the, the rest of the team for uh, all their hard work in making this film what it is, and to Lindsay Duncan and Sophia Miles um, for being the best two leads that anyone could ask for. Um, thank you and take care. We have now come to the last award for camera work. The three shortlisted films are November the 1st, Heatwave and Azar. The jury called this beautifully shot with great use of light to create a brilliant atmosphere. The locations were perfect and enhanced by fantastic camera work. Simple framing, haunting score, and shots allowed to play out. Simple but effective. The winner is Michael Filo Camo for Azar. Let's hear from Michael. Hi, um, a massive thanks to the World Television Society for this award. It's really nice to have something like this happen uh, during lockdown. A big thanks to uh, Miriam Raja, the director and writer of Zara, and Nat Byron, the producer. Um, it was really great working with them. And a massive thank you to my crew and everyone who supported me when shooting the film, uh, particularly uh, Stuart Harris, Oliver Stapleton, and Duncan Bruce at the NFTS cinematography uh, department. Um, and a massive thanks to everyone else at the NFTS. Cheers. Congratulations to all our postgraduate winners. That brings a close to this year's awards. I'll now hand back to Siobhan Green. Many congratulations. 
And thanks to Matt, thanks go to the jury chairs and all their jury members, thanks to the regional juries, and thank you again to our headline sponsor, Motion Content Group. Congratulations to all the winners and to the nominees, and thank you all for watching.